Hello, today we're taking a look at Flash FXP. This is a Windows based FTP client. That's a really powerful FTP client and has a ton of things built into it. So here we are on the site where you can go ahead and download it and check it out. And here is the app itself. And it's worth noting here that there's a ton of different things packed into Flash FXP because it provides additional security with SFTP or Secure Shell SSH, of course, FTPS, Secure Socket Layer over FTP, and seamless one-time password support. So it's really easy to log into your web directory, so on and so forth. Uh, Flash FXP also offers many unique features that you don't really find anywhere else, such as multi-firewall and proxy support, speed limiting, server file searching, supports files larger than 4 gigs, so you can transfer those big files over to your server, remote editing with automatic or manual uploading, your preference, automated transfers, scheduling with email uh, notifications, priority transfer list, extensive file transfer rules, user customizable interface, and it's available in 20. Uh, over 20 languages and there's just a ton of stuff to this application so you can see it has a split column interface very easy so you would here you would have this uh, your local browser basically the files that you're going to be transitioning over and then here is where you would log in you would be able to quick connect or connect to your ftp server of choice so you can get this from your web host or however you're hosting your website here fill it all in and it has a great one-time password support so that way it's easy just to log in from there on out you can save your logins or manage multiple logins uh, and then you would basically see the file tree the same on, on this side. Uh, and then you can obviously even switch this to your local browser. You have a little uh, log right here that tells you when you're connecting, how if you're, if you're connected in via the remote side, if there's any issues, it'll bring it up here in the error log. And the same thing here, I can just navigate to the, through my computer here so I can get files, I can grab documents. You would then be able to take the file that you want to, of course, transfer over, be it, you know, some web documents, maybe it's just certain files for your site, design, stuff like that, and you just drag it over. Uh, at the top here, you have the ability, of course, to refresh your current uh, local browser. And then you have the ability to also go into the top here and look at those, you know, different things we talked about. So you can set speed limits. So this is really great if you want to have it on a download or upload speed limit. So let's say you're uploading tons of files uh, through... Uh, your to your website and you want it to have a speed limit so it doesn't hit a certain cap you can set that the same with download if you want it to download at a current you know at a certain speed you can limit that you can save the path that we're currently at whether it's a local path or a remote path that's really great if you have for example that like you can see I'm in my users file my username my desktop if I want to have that saved so I can always reference that really quickly uh, and then you have other things here. So you have, for example, a really cool feature built into Flash FXP. Once transfers are complete, so let's say you're uploading a ton of files to your website. You know, maybe you're installing a new edition of WordPress or whatever it may be. When it's complete, you can have your computer do certain things like you can have it quit the program, you can have it log off the computer, turn off the computer. Very, very uh, you know, resourceful and efficient so that you can save power and all that good stuff. You have your site manager, of course, where you can manage all your multiple websites here. Uh, and you have a ton of other things here. You have your queue, your commands, tools built in that give a text editor, scheduler, again, very, very efficient. You can schedule transfers, directory, you can, you know, deal with all the synchronized browsing and, and directory here. You have view trees. Like I said, you have ability to really customize the way your interface is. You can have graphs, uh, raw command lines. So you can see I can add all these fun stuff in here uh, as I, you know, depending on how I want my Flash FXP interface to uh, operate. So a really, you know, efficient FTP program it has a ton of great features built into it and it's definitely worth checking out. That said, you guys can click on the link down below to try or buy Flash FXP for a lifetime for personal licenses, which is for PCs or a commercial license. And both license only costs $30 for again, a lifetime. So it's really cheap. Again, whether it's a commercial or personal license, it is up to you. Check it out. All purchases are secured, of course, with HTTPS, and there's a 14-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk when buying it. This is Flash FXP. Thanks for watching.